Hi folks, welcome to NYC CNC. It's not really an episode, but rather I had an idea, which is I've had a lot of folks ask me, what do you want for Christmas? And Christmas as, as an adult, you know, it's not really what it's all about. And uh, by the way, at the end of this video, I'd like to talk about Christmas and what it means to me and the year I've had and really to be grateful. But um, to stay on focus for now, what I want to do now is share a list of what I think are 15 great uh, gift ideas for your machinist partner or friend in your life in the hopes that uh, in the hopes that you know if you want to give a gift it doesn't have to be expensive but if it's something that they want or that is exciting or that's a tool as a recipient of that kind of gift it makes you smile and when you give the gift and they love it it makes you smile and I really dislike when Christmas is about the stress and, and expectations of of outdoing each other and finding crazy gifts so what I come up with was a list of 15 things that I think would be cool to get ranging from $8 up to a few hundred dollars. And I thought I'd go through them. In full disclosure, some of these, including the Amazon links, are what are called associate or referral links. So I do make a few bucks if you buy them. If you don't like that or you don't want to participate in that, just search for the product item. You can see the description on the blog for this entry uh, and you can buy it directly. It doesn't cost you anything either way if you click through my link, but just want to be uh, in full disclosure there. So, this video isn't really for my normal viewers, who statistically are like 99% male, but rather, perhaps, for your counterparts. So, with that, stop watching, click pause, copy the link, email it to your wife or however you communicate with her, send it over to your wife or your partner, and, uh, and hopefully, good things will come. By the way, at the end of the video, I'll have a little surprise for the folks that stick through to the end. First item. I found these through Tom Lipton. They're called Spillmaster Containers. And if you sort of tip it over, your oil won't all spill out. They're great for use with acid brushes for eight bucks, hard to go wrong with. Number two, can't twist clamps. I love these things and I love them because I use them all over the shop, whether it's for welding or for setup and fabrication or machining, holding things on the mill table in vices, etc. These are great, can't have too many of them. Number three, not really a machining product per se, it's a soft mat. They market it towards firearms folks for cleaning or working on your guns. I love these because they're nice quality, they last, and it's kind of fun. Sometimes it's fun to have a little bit of personality. There's links to uh, both an AR-15 one, and then they've got them for Glocks and 1911s and lots of different pistols. Hard to go wrong for 22 bucks. Number four, again, shout out to Tom Lipton, Ox Tool over in California, his book. I've talked about it before, maybe too much, uh, but it was such a good book. I, I normally wouldn't recommend a book for Christmas. This one defies expectations. Absolutely highly recommend Tom's book. Number five, Easy Lap Diamond Hone Set. 25 bucks, these things are crazy handy for deburring, knocking off edges, sharpening up high-speed steel tools. Absolutely something uh, everybody should have in the shop. Number six, not the most common things. I don't think I've ever seen these at a Home Depot. Parallel jaw pliers. As you open and close them, the jaws stay parallel. Something you don't think you need until you have it. It's also kind of cool. I think it's fun when you give someone a gift and they think, oh, I didn't know that existed. 30 bucks, I think it's a winner. Number seven, inexpensive digital calipers. I try to stay away from, there's one company that resells under a lot of different brands that are super cheap. These are Fowlers. Uh, for, for 32 bucks, you can't have too many pairs. I keep a set at home when I'm working at nights. I keep a set near every machine. Hard to go wrong with a pair of $32 decent digital calipers. Number eight, a Sterrett Auto Center Punch. Again, a great tool, uh, should last a lifetime. Really handy for marking holes, locations, fabrication, etc. I use mine daily. It stays right by me on the workbench, 45 bucks. Number nine, I talked about this in my how to quote CNC work video. Always keep an extra set of drills or whatever tool is important for you. For me, drills is the easy one that happens to be a good example. Always keep an extra set of drills on hand. It never gets used. It's sort of the emergency. I broke a drill I need to find to make sure I've got that number, that size or that letter on hand. 52 bucks, a set of high speed steel letter numbers and fractions. Can't go wrong with it. A great thing to keep but again you can use it actively or like I said keep it uh, tucked away for that time when you really need it in a pinch number 10 everybody has one two three blocks two four six blocks again su super handy they're way bigger 
Great for setup, great for clamping tall parts in a vise when you need that rigidity. Uh, I think they're awesome to have. 86 bucks, number 11. Powder coat. I love home powder coating. You can do it in a toaster oven or you can get a dedicated kitchen oven that you use for powder coating. Really high quality finish, high strength, easy to change colors, easy to work with. I like it a lot better than spray paint. 140 bucks, I love this gun. I use it myself daily or weekly, highly recommend. Number 12, Wilton Camlock Vice. This thing lives on my drill press. It's, it's a high quality, great vice. It's got uh, stepped uh, parallels built into it. Very easy to clamp, work on it. 150 bucks, I love this thing, highly recommend it. Number 13, I've been harping on these because I really like them. I use little puny power uh, tools or battery cordless tools for a while and I finally bit the bullet. $215 for a combo 18 volt DeWalt drill and impact driver. These things are awesome. The batteries charge pretty quickly. They got a lot of power, good settings. I love them. I use them on my mill. I use them for cleanup work, for, for drilling, deburring. I use them to close and open vices. I use them when I built the enclosure the other day. Very, very useful. Uh, number 14, a Fordham tool. I actually don't own one of these and I really want one. So it's on my list, sort of two. $227, think of it like a Dremel, but done right. Really high quality, high RPMs, absolutely useful. Uh, it's a good example would be if you guys watch Keith Fenner's videos, which since I'm talking only to the wise right now, I'm sure you do not. Um, but using a rotary burr to clean up parts before you TIG weld them. Fordham tool though, absolutely gonna get used. And last but not least, it's the Heimer. I use it in my Tormach to set uh, X, Y, Z. It's uh, a splurge, a, I don't wanna say it's a luxury. I had to buy it because I needed to touch off on non-metallic parts, so your traditional electronic edge finder wouldn't work. This thing's accurate. It's, uh, it gets used hundreds of times a week, so even though it's expensive, it's worth it. I love it. Okay, a few other ideas, real quick. Tormach, absolutely, uh, if, you got, if your husband or partner owns a PCNC mill, always can use TTS holders, or if you're not sure, Tormach has gift cards. I'm sure someone would love to open a stocking with a $25 or $100 or whatever amount Tormach gift card. Um, hitch covers, these in my in full disclosure are something we make and sell. If your uh, partner or husband is a shooter, we sell lots of different styles of these with hostages, with no hostage, with Mozambique, which is two to the chest, one to the head, just for fun, 25 bucks. Uh, fun little gag gift, if you will. And uh, yeah. So that's my list. Um, let's talk about Christmas. Christmas, uh, and I'm not a particularly religious person, but I will say that Christmas definitely has lost, I think, a lot of its meaning. I think a lot of you folks will agree with me. It should be about being thankful, spending time with your family. It should not be about material consumption and who can spend the most and who gets the most gifts. Um, so <laughs> I know I just went through a list of things, but at the end of the day, hopefully a lot of those things are relatively inexpensive and hopefully the person that's buying them and receiving them does so with meaning. Um, I want to say that I'm really thankful. I've had a great year. It was a big year for me and my wife. We had a nine-month-old son now. He was born in February. We moved from New York to Ohio. It's all gone incredibly well. My wife's healthy. I'm healthy. The baby's healthy. You guys know I love my dog Judd. The, the transition to Ohio has been great. Um, the YouTube channel has really, really grown and that means a lot to me. It's something I think about a lot and I love the community that's being built around YouTube, not only with me, but so many of the other contributors out there. And I just have to say, I really am grateful. It's been a, a great year and I'm really looking forward to 2015. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm just very grateful. So with that, as a thank you to those who have stuck around to watch this far, I'm gonna give away three of the items I just read on this list. So if you're interested in in being a recipient for one of those. I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna pick the names in the next few days. I'm not gonna let this linger for a week or two. Shoot me an email, john at nyccnc, with your name and your mailing address, and I'm gonna pick a few of these items, and if you, uh, if you are interested, again, email me, and I'll pick a couple winners, and I'll mail you out those gifts. They could be for you, or they can be a gift to someone else, um, but it's a little way of me saying thank you for, uh, for you guys out there, and for the wives for watching this video. So with that, um, shoot me an email if you're interested. Otherwise, folks, on Wednesday, we're starting that nine millimeter muzzle brake project. Super, super excited for that. So stay tuned, folks. See you in a few days. Take care.